dismissed every accomplishment I've made. You've talked about my father. Well, you call me an entitled millennial, I call you a carny succubus because the dirty secret about you, the dirty secret is you need this generation more than it needs you. Yeah, game, be the sexy ninja in the place to be for a paper saber universe, and uh, I am tired. Hi, boss. Ah, oh, my, my kitty. My kitty came and say hi. You want to say hi to the folks? Huh? You want to say hi? No? No? You're going to come rub the leg while we record. Let's just see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, there we go. Making the debut. Princess Leia on the New World Podcast wants to talk some wrestling. You want to talk some wrestling? No? Okay. Want to get out of here? You can get out of here. All right. <laughs> First up, we're going to talk about Impact. That was on Halloween, October 31st, 2024. Matthew Tom on commentary, and she is scratching the hell out of that. She loves when I pick her up sometimes. Um, yes, it starts off with Joe Hendry cutting a promo. Joe could not get the job done. I'm like, when? When will we finally believe in Joe? When will TNA believe in Joe to become the champion? Because they've teased them over and over again, and I don't know. I think Bound for Glory was the place to do it. So then we got first class versus the Rascals. First, first class gets away. Nothing really special. This like Eric, Steve, and Jonathan uh, versus Northern Armory. Uh, but Eric, Steve, and Jonathan got the win. I was like, okay, well. Then we got Ash versus Danny. Ash gets the win. Uh, Lee versus Maggie. You know, Lee gets the win. Savannah Evans is back. But we do have Eddie and Johnny versus Nick. And Joe. And yeah, I think the main event was the best part of the show. Everything else, was like, I, I kind of was just, it was on, on the background noise. But it was an okay impact for the most part. You know, October 31st, 2024, Matthew and Tom. Uh, yeah, I, I give it a solid two out of five. For the, in my match of the night was the main event, you know. Then we go right into, uh, let's just talk about Rampage real quick. Rampage, November 1st, 2024, LFI versus Butcher, LFI gets the win, Taya versus Zoe, Taya gets the win, Queen versus uh, Layla Gray, Queen gets the win, Action and Top Flight versus Dark Order, they get the win over them, and Commander versus Leo Rush, which was a badass main event, Commander gets the win, and Commander's gonna go on to collision the face, um, a certain Kyle Fletcher. Now we got those two shows out of the way. Out of the way. Rampage, a solid two out of five as well. Nothing really to ah gun ho about. Uh SmackDown though. This is a go home SmackDown for uh Crown Jewel. Um Liv cuts a promo before. And this is uh November first, 2024, Cole and Graves on commentary. And Liv cuts a promo. Then of course here comes uh Tiffy, here comes Naya. And, you know, there's the big crown jewel championship. That's the first ever championship crown crown jewel champion is going to happen at the pay-per-view itself. Who's going to win? So, but I like what Tiffy did here. She says, if, if when I cash in and I win, does that championship come with some dirty Dom? Because I can get some dirty in my life. And Dom's like, oh. But overall, um, Liv takes on Tiffy. Liv beats Tiffy. And Naya takes out Liv. Sending a message across the board that she wants that championship. Um, the Street Profits versus Pretty Deadly. The Street Profits for the win. But in a uh, interview, Montez Ford has talked about frustration with the Street Profits to start and stop, to start and stop, which is very true. Like, I love the Street Profits, and I feel like they should be on top. But it, it, like he said, it's a start and stop thing. And I, I bet, too, that can get frustrating for him because I know he has options. Like, I want to put the best that he can in this, but he also does music, too. So, you know, it, it's he wants to put the best in what he has. And sometimes he's not given the proper tools, especially both of them. Um, but the Street Profits, I just want them. I want them to get the smoke. They need the smoke. That's what they need. Then Naomi and Bailey versus Indy and Candace. Fun match, Naomi for the win and Bailey. Uh OG Bloodline. Oh ho, 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 ho. Oh, oh my gosh. This was awesome. I mean, Jay, Jimmy, Roman, and Jay telling him, like, yo, Oos, think about this. I want you to understand this. We are equals now. You're not my tribal chief. We're equals in this if we're gonna do the damn thing at Crown Jewel. 
which I was surprised they made that match pretty quick. But OG Bloodline, I'm your equal, Oos. So pretty damn cool. Um, but then we go into uh, EO versus Bianca versus Lash versus Piper. My girl EO gets the win. Damn straight, man. I, I love EO Sky. Uh, then we get Randy and Cody versus Gunther and Ludwig. Uh, Randy and Cody get the win, but Kevin Owens attacks. You know, and uh, Gunther chokes out Rhodes. Cody Rhodes, man. Woo-wee! That was a little something, something there. But it got me pumped. I was like, yeah. You know, the OG Bloodline stuff. I'm like, yeah. He ain't. So all that going on there. Then um, I give the SmackDown a solid four out of five. My match of the night was uh, EO versus Bianca versus Lash versus Piper. That was a, a really fun match right there. And let's go right into, you know what? We'll talk about Crown Jewel after. We'll talk about Collision real quick. November 2nd, 2024, Tony and Nigel on commentary. We have a private party celebration. They won those tag team titles. Very happy for them. You know, and um, again, FTR's face, a little bit of confrontation, but they said, we will defend these tag team titles when we want. We will find out whoever, whenever, but we will show why we are the best tag team. The Acclaim's watching on there with Renee. A little bit of a hesitation. And he's... And, um, you know, we got a little bit of friction there. So I don't know if we're going to be tearing these two teams apart. Then we get Thunder Rosa versus Harley. I, it was, it was okay. It was an okay match. They beat the crap out of each other, but Thunder Rosa got the win. I would rather have Harley get the win. I'm just not a big Thunder Rosa fan. And if you are, much love, much respect. Keep doing you, boo-boo. Um, then we get Lexi with Undisputed Kingdom. Then here comes Cage and Archer. And it, there's a certain point where some of this just drags, man. I'm like, I don't want to see Undisputed Kingdom and Cage and Archer. I don't want that story right there. Okay. Then we get um, Kyle Fletcher versus Commander, and this is the match of the night. I mean, they set the bar up high. I was like, damn, oh, shit. You know, but it was a fight between these two. Then uh, Kyle gets the win. He starts attacking Commander, and here comes Mark Davis. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. You know, he comes out and fends off Kyle. So there's that storyline brooding there. Then Jack Perry's in the back. He's about to talk to us. He's on the camera. You know, he's holding, looking at, not looking at the camera. Then here comes Daniel Garcia. So definitely building something to, towards these two. And full gear is right around the corner. Um, February 23rd, a day before my birthday. Then after that, War Games is the next weekend. So let's go. Um, but... Jack said some things and got under Daniel Garcia's skin. Mm -hmm. Then we get Cage and Archer versus Squash Gang. Cage, Archer for the win. They start beating up Squash Gang. Here comes Undisputed Kingdom because they are now good guys. And Kyle O'Reilly is watching on. Maybe he will rejoin his friends. We shall see. Then Lexi's with AR Fox and... uh. Gets interrupted by Nick and Kip, and then, yeah, just don't care. Then we go into a Chris Statlander promo. She's going after um, Mercedes Money for that championship at full gear. Then we get a Moxie thing. <sighs> and, like, I like Orange Cassidy. I really do. But if you look at the way the crowd reacts for Orange Cassidy, that ain't somebody that we're rooting for to become champion. Sure, on paper, it sounds great. Orange Cassidy versus John Moxley. But listen to the crowd. Like, his pop should have been enormous. Like, I mean, if he's going to be the one taking on John Moxley, taking on this family that's been, that has this cult-like mentality because of Mox, we should be rooting for him a little bit more, shouldn't we? Like, it, it just seemed really flat. But then, like, um, Yuta gets sent out to go after Orange, and Orange takes the chair away from him. Orange punch. Mox is mad. And Rena Shafir's like, ah, I'm Rena, you know. Um, so, I don't know. It's just, it's just not hitting, you know? It's just not hitting. Then we get a Malachi Black promo, which did hit. That was pretty good. Lexi with, um,. Kyle Fletcher and Takeshita, they challenge Ricochet and a surprise partner next week because they want to show that they can be in the tag team division as well. So I was like, ooh, I wonder who Mr. Uh, Ricochet is going to bring with him. Then we get uh, right here, Leo versus uh, Aria. Leo for the win. Fun match. Then we get a really fun segment here. Lexi's with MXM and Johnny TV. And Johnny's like, 
I like you guys. And just kind of swords away. And they're like, ooh. And they do that little elevator thing to the, the camera. Then we have Roderick Strong versus Shane Taylor. Roderick is building up his wins because if you remember right, MJF says, hey, to Adam and to Roderick, whoever gets three wins first will face me at full gear. And I'm guessing it's going to become a triple threat match. I just got that feeling. I just got that feeling. It's going to become a th triple threat match. Some way, somehow. Um, but uh, Roderick took on Shane Taylor. Another person that I just feel like he's he's not being used properly. Shane Taylor, because he is a bad man. He is a bad, bad man. But Roderick beat him. And MJF is watching. Pre-taped MJF watching a TV at his house. It was pretty cool. Uh, the Hurt Syndicate. They're going to show up on Dynamite. I like the name. The Hurt Syndicate. The Hurt Business is a good name. But the Hurt Syndicate? It's like it's like a Bizarro World type name. You know what I mean? Like uh, like Earth, Earth 2 type name. Like... The the Hurt Business was WWE. Well, this is the Hurt Syndicate, you know, and I, I I that gave me some chills. Then we go into the AEW Women's Championship, Mariah May versus Anna J. Fun match, but Mariah May gets the win. Anna J showed what she can do, and I gotta say that was collision. But Kyle Fletcher versus Commander is my match of the night. I I give this a solid three out of five for Collision. Uh, October 2nd, 2024, Tony and Nigel on commentary. Drop your comments below. What's your thoughts on the state of AEW as of right now? Um, I'm trying to find my notes for... Let's see. Bound for glory, for glory are we bound. Not bound for glory, dumbass. <laughs> Crown jewel. <laughs> uh, Cole and Graves on commentary. Big night. New championships on the line. We started off with the Bloodline versus OG Bloodline. And I say Jay getting his own entrance and showing how over he is than Roman Reigns is amazing. I mean, I, I, I'm so glad. And then solo pin Roman. Then the beatdown commence. Solo pin Roman. Then the beatdown commence. Yes, I said it over because that's impressive. But here comes Sammy. We're building this story here. Then he accidentally kicks Roman, you know, and it just, it's just a lot of stuff going on. And Sammy's like, oh no. And, and you know, Jay's trying to explain it. it was a, it was a, it was a mistake, Jimmy. Come on, hold on, hold on. So we're, we're getting back the OOGs. Just need some Paul Heyman in our life. We got Joe with Gunther about this Cody match. You know, he has lots on the line. And then we go into the um, women's tag team championship match, Bianca Jade. Uh, Bianca and Jade versus Chelsea and Piper versus Metaphor versus Damage Control. I wanted um, Damage Control or Metaphor to get the win. Even Chelsea and Piper just didn't want Bianca and Jade to retain, but they did. So what can I say? Uh, Bronson versus Seth Rollins. Um, this was a good match. This is a damn good match. And Seth got the win, but it ain't over. Bronson had this, that killer instinct in his eyes. I'm a monster. So... Um, then we go right into the women's crown jewel match. Liv versus Nia. Tiffy tried to, uh, try, tried to cash in. And Raquel, then here comes Dom and all this. Raquel and Dom helping uh, Liv. And Liv gets the win. She is the first crown jewel women's champion. And that championship, they can't even take back to the States. It has to stay. And they're like, the women's is okay size, but the, the men's is gigantic and they're gonna get those big like super bowl rings um but Liv is our new uh, our new uh champion here and um triple h brings out the championship and i was like man that title is huge randy versus kevin owens no contest why they just beat the crap out of each other adam and nick tried to help they got security out there randy uh takes out adam with the rko it's just chaos and then we get a big table spot not even a match and it's far from over Far from over. United States Championship match. LA Knight versus Andrade versus Melo. This match was a b -b -b banger, folks. And man, a double BFT. Oh my goodness. That's that finish for this match. But what the bam? I was like, and he covers uh, Melo. LA Knight retains the championship. He's like, ah, nah, nah. I am still champion. The champion. Now the Crown Jewel Men's Championship. Uh, Cody versus Gunther. You talk about chops and beats and everything but who, who did we honestly honestly did we think that gunther was gonna win this no i knew cody was gonna win this 
And Cody did win. He got the championship. I mean, he put it on. I mean, this thing is like it like it covered my whole chest. It's how big this championship is. Then they have a celebration. And I love that uh, Gunther showed some respect to Cody. Bada bing, bada boom. And it all comes down to, to respect at the end of the day. Then uh, Cody and Liv celebrating fireworks going off. Boom, 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 boom. That's Crown Jewel. I had one hell of a time with the show. I got to say, um, my match of the night. Oh, oh man. Uh, the United States Championship match. That was a hell of a match with all those three. And then second to that would be Cody versus Gunther. But yeah, this was a good Crown Jewel. I give it a solid five out of five. Crown Jewel 2024, I believe this is the 12th time they said. Cole and Graves on commentary. Uh, I had a good time. And that's uh, the weekend of some wrestling there, folks. We got Monday Night Raw. We got Dynamite. We got NXT in the ECW arena. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. So drop those comments below. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Share it to grandma. Share it to grandma. Share it to bum down at Walmart. I am KMB, the sexy ninja. And remember that the new world podcast is for life, brother. Bye.